we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you, God, for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. I want to say shout out to New York, L.A., Chicago, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Houston, London, Florida, Dallas. Um, those are the places where I have high viewership. Uh, let me know where you are viewing from in the comment section, okay? Um, so shout out to you, to everyone in those states or cities. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Continue to view. All right. Um, Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I do a collective reading, and then I answer your questions. So, um, Sagittarius, what I was getting for you off camera when I was meditating was Medusa head. So, we're going to figure out what this is all about. I know with the Medusa, okay, so the Medusa head, everybody knows that Medusa is supposed to be, you know, this, um, what do they call it, Gorgon, uh, she's a a monstrous figure um, she can turn uh, people into stone if they look into her eyes but she used to be very beautiful until she took up with um, a man actually her father so um, and then she turned into Medusa okay um, and, and people used even after cutting off her head from her body people used her head as a you know a defense mechanism you know because the head was still um, active in regards to you can still pull it out. And if people looked at into the Medusa head, they would still turn to stone. So I don't know what this is about in regards to your reader. We're going to try to tie it all in. Maybe it ties into you already, or maybe you already find it resonance. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Uh, the eight of wands. So that's your energy. Looks like you're having a lot of communication going back and forth here. Um, this is also a law of attraction, attracting to you what it is you really want. You may be getting a lot of suitors, a lot of people wanting to talk to you. This could be online. Uh, things are happening fast for you. Obstacles are being removed. Uh, life is um, happening at a fast pace for you. Um, you're getting your manifestations. The manifestations are happening. Um, this is also um, infatuation. Maybe someone's infatuated with you or you're infatuated with someone. It's like, I don't know, maybe somebody feels like, how can I get um, the Sagittarius to look at me so then I can make them stand still. Cause we know if you turn to stone, you're, you're still right. So maybe someone feels like, uh, what can I do to make the Sag, um, stand still and, uh, stay in one position or one relationship. Okay. Uh, someone could be trying to captivate you with their beauty. Beauty happens from the inside out. You know, of course, you know, beauty is outward but it's also from the inside five of pentacles okay so it looks like somebody's having um 
lack of uh, confidence and forward movement, lack of uh, confidence in themselves or this relationship or this love affair. Somebody doesn't like being ignored or shunned or not acknowledged. So it's like, how can I get this person to choose me, to set their eyes on me, to set their sights on me, to choose the relationship, the love affair? Um, yeah, Ace of Wands, somebody could be trying to seduce, tempt. This could be you, it could be someone else trying to get you or you trying to get someone else. Um, Ace of Wands up for the challenge of maybe changing someone's mind. Um, throwing their hat in the ring, that means that there's competition. You throw your hat in the ring, there's other hats in the ring, right? So maybe you're up for the competition here. You're motivated behind something to maybe start your own. Uh, it could be business or um, maybe get some the attention of or have somebody set their sights on you. What is this about for Sagittarius? Um, page of Pentacles. Some of you could be using divination tools or you could be, um, yeah, using the Tarot or learning something and trying to learn what herbs to use to maybe make yourself beautiful or do a, this is a beauty regimen or health or maybe even get your health back or back to vitality. Come out of um, maybe a negative place, maybe even in your finances. Um, have good news in regards to financial matters. This is also somebody who has a lot of um, suitors. They have a lot of um, people that they can choose from to be in a relationship and somebody knows that they need to make a choice. So there's somebody here, once again, the art of seduction. Someone's trying to seduce the other person into, you know, I heard co coercion. Yeah, maybe even coerce you into choosing them. It could be you, it could be someone else. It's like somebody's trying, somebody's, you know, beauty or has beauty or is beautiful. Somebody's trying to get the person to choose me, pick me by any means necessary, maybe even by magic here or, or manipulation by magic. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, the magician. So this is what someone is doing. Yeah, someone's trying to definitely uh, use magic. Look over here. Don't look over there. Uh, let me seduce you. Let me seduce your mind. Um, um, let me seduce you by what I say, what I do. I'm going to use everything that I have to get you to change your mind or set your sights on me. Um, someone's definitely trying to change a very powerful man's mind in regards to, hey, look at me. This is this is who you want. I'm who you want. Um, my nine of pentacles. Okay, so abundance, um, independence, uh, flourishing, having more than enough. Somebody could be using their money to maybe um, coerce or get someone to uh, choose them. There's somebody whose heart chakra is kind of closed down to love right now. They, they have more than enough that they're not really seeking love. This is somebody who could be keeping relationships outside of their heart space or their home. This is somebody who won't allow themselves to fall in love, but it looks like there is somebody trying to really seduce, really coerce, really um, get someone to fall for them. Cause the eight of wands talks about falling in love. Also, you have the queen of cups. It's like somebody is a traditional beauty. Like they traditionally people look at this person and say, Oh yeah, they're beautiful or they're pretty. Um, someone's trying to use that. They're trying to use every means that they have to get what they want. Yeah. Um, someone is saying, look at me, I'm the full package. Or they're looking at someone else as the full package. Therefore, they're trying to persuade them to... Um, what, is, what does this person want to persuade maybe Sagittarius to do? Okay, the Empress, choose them, create with them, co-create with them, have a baby with them, have a life with them, start something new, open their heart, because these two are um, polar opposite. The nine of pentacles type of woman or man is uh, close off to love. They'll have relations, you know, and relationships, but, you know, vulnerability is not there. Like intimacy is not there. The empress, somebody wants you to be open completely. Be open to me completely. Open your heart, open your wallet, open your home, open your mind, open. I want you to be open to me. It could be a woman trying to seduce a man here. He's not ready for a relationship. And she is, okay? She's ready, the empress. And he's still the magician. He still thinks about it. He still toils, you know, goes back and forth about it. Yes, somebody's really, you know, trying to, um, you know, they're try not trying to argue. They're trying to, you know, play their cards right, say the right words. Um, yeah, this is somebody who's being real meticulous with the words that they use because they don't want to turn this person off. This could even be stalking. I don't know why I said stalking. I'm going to say spying. Okay, somebody could be stalking you, Sagittarius. This is what you're doing. What's the outcome here for Sagittarius? 
Somebody really, really, really wants somebody here. What is the outcome for Sagittarius? The Ace of Cups, okay, very nice. The High Priestess, okay, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so, and the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So it still looks like um, you got a ways to go in this situation. Somebody's strong in their willpower, you know, and what they want and what they say they don't want. Somebody is okay with this type of relationship. It just being in the 5D, we just act like we're together. We act like we're boyfriend and girlfriend or that we're husband and wife, but I don't want it to be real, okay? Someone is not ready to be the emperor to the empress, okay? And so the relationship may have some new starts, okay? That may seem promising, but there'll be no progression. Um, you could still be, you know, in the running to be next top model, you know, in the running to be the next, you know, one, right? But they're still in the running. So that means there's still other people or other people that this person is dating or seeing or still has their options open to. Um, this person still goes out and socializes and meets other people. So whomever this is, um, this is going to be a tough cookie to crack. Uh, good luck. Uh, Godspeed. Um, if you want to get your own personal reading and see where your energy is, go over to the website. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off, 40 off at the checkout uh, on the website. And if you're a business minded individual and you want to connect with other uh, business minded uh, persons, you can sign up for the KTMG monthly conference call where you receive valuable information on how to start your business, maintain it. Um, even, even grow your business, pick the brains of other business minded individuals. Um, take, uh, get up, get on the wait list. There's a wait list because people took to it like wildfire. So really excited about that. Um, get on the wait list, um, and, and be a part of that every month, invest in yourself, invest in you so that you can have what it is you, you say you really want. Okay. Um, I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. And if you took something from the reading, you could definitely give back. Um, the links are below. Buy me a coffee if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Sag. Many blessings to you.